What do you think about trying to end 2020 on a positive note? Well, if that sounds good to you, then you don't want to miss this episode. Welcome to Enjoy Life. If you need a little push to pursue your goals or some encouragement to take ownership of the areas of life you can control, then you're in the right place. I'm Nick Maisie, and I'll be your host, and I'll be your guide for this podcast. I'll be sharing with you all the things that I've learned through my journey, through overcoming struggles in my own life, earning a master's degree in psychology, and trying to be the best dad of two twin amazing girls that I can be. I'm going to share with you all the things that I've learned that will help you to choose your mindset, goals, and actions so that you can guide your life to go in the direction that you want to go and enjoy it. I am glad that you're here, and let's get started. Well, hello, and welcome to episode 153 of Enjoy Life. Uh, this one, this one, we're talking about a little bit of a mindset shift. Because you know, after a year like this one, you know, a mindset shift might just be a good thing for, for many of us, for many of us. And if, if that's something that, that sounds like it might be a, a good thing for you to, to shift things uh, to the positive, shift things to the things that you can control so that you can guide your life to go where you want. If that's something that sounds like a good thing for you right now, then, then this episode, this episode is for you. Come on, let, let's dive right into it today. It's a mindset shift. A mindset shift can change everything. It really does. You know how we how we choose to view life and experience it. It makes all the difference in the world. I don't have a magic wand to change everything going on the outside, but when we shift our mindset, it can actually change our whole world because it changes things on the inside. I know Christmas is just a few days away, and we're about to wrap up 2020. And I don't think anybody's going to complain about just go ahead and putting 2020 in the books and moving on. Uh, I'm not. But so, but before we do that, you know, we got to make sure that we're doing all the things that we need to do for ourselves. You know, and, and this is this is something that I sometimes I share during the holiday season, during Christmas season. Uh, it's talking about mindset, uh, but I think t- this this year it's even more important than ever before. Oh, something different now than it's ever been. You know, well, we have we've used that word uh, unprecedented. It's been an unprecedented year, and I've said that word more so now uh, this year than, than I think I ever have. But so in this when you're in a situation like this where it's something you've never experienced before and it's something where it's a lot of negative things, you know, we have to make sure that we're choosing our mindset, you know, so very it's so important. We've got to make sure that we're doing that. And so this one is all about choosing this mindset that's going to help you. So before we keep going, I got a question to ask you. I want to ask you this. Would you, do you want to have plenty in your life or do you want to be lacking in your life? Would you rather live life, a life of abundance or would you rather live a life of scarcity? You know, to not have enough for what you need. Or do you want to have more than enough to share? And those are some pretty simple questions. I imagine that you probably answered, you know, of course you want to have more than enough. Or at least, you know, that's, that's what I'm going to assume because that, that makes the most sense to me. I want to have more than enough in my life. I want to have more than enough for my family. Uh, and, and, and that's just how, is how it is. You know, providing for my family is something that's very important for me. You know, caring for myself and providing for my family, you know, and those that are, uh, that are, that I value that are important to me. You know, when I do that, that helps me to live a life that I can enjoy. That's the life that I want. I want to make sure that I'm taking care of, of all the things and people that are important. There's a problem though. There's a problem though. And what ends up happening is that when I focus on having enough, when I focus on having enough for me and my family, then sometimes it seems like I don't. And this is one of those weird things because normally, normally if you have something, then it feels like you have it. it it's a weird concept that actually works against us when we try to throw in this word enough. Um, you know, if, if I went out and I got... Um, a fishing rod. I was going to go fishing, so I got a fishing rod. I knew I needed to have a fishing rod so that I could go fishing. If I had that fishing rod in my hand, if I had it, then it would feel like I had it. And I could consciously, hey, I, I can move on because I got what I need. But when we throw around this word enough, when we want to make sure we have enough, that's one of those weird things. It's not really defined. It's not like an object, like an object you can just pick up. And so striving to have enough sometimes can cause us to focus on what we don't have. 
And when we focus on what we don't have, it feels like we have less than enough. Like we don't have enough for ourselves or our family or our loved ones. You know, it feels like we're lacking because we're focusing on what we don't have as we strive to have enough. Now, would you rather have a ton of money and stuff oh, and, and feel miserable like you were missing out on everything because of all the things you didn't have? Or would you rather have actually less things and stuff and, and maybe even less money uh, still enough for your needs, still enough for your needs and some wants, but just less. And at the same time, feel truly blessed, appreciating the good things in life, having fun, smiling and enjoying life. Well, which would you prefer? See, now I know I want to feel abundance in my life. I want to enjoy life and be able to smile, appreciate the good things. And I want to feel like just life, life is good good and there, there is abundance and if you do too then the surefire way to help grow that feeling of, of just you know, like I said, abundance and being blessed and, and having enough if you want to grow that feeling then it's time to start focusing on giving to others and helping other people see giving to others is that surefire ticket that helps you to appreciate what you have to see what you have as being enough, you know, and, and to live a life full of gratitude that is even fuller and with more enjoyment than you could ever imagine. And it comes from giving to other people. You're not, not giving to get something back or, or well, uh, you know, with some sort of strings or attachments or even any sort of emotion of what you're going to get out of it. It's just the giving to other people so that you can do something for them. It ends up showing us how much we truly do have. I know this is this might have, this is probably not going to be a popular topic at all uh, in 2020, and I might get a little bit of backlash for it, but that's okay. It's something that I, I truly believe, and because there's a lot of things that I want that I don't have, and that's okay. Anybody, anybody in the world, no matter how much money and stuff they have, there's probably something. They don't have. And when you focus on what you don't have, then it gets bigger in your mind. And before you know it, you're miserable. But by giving to other people, you know, even if it's, you you might not have a lot of money, maybe you give your time, maybe you just help out. But when you focus on, on giving to other people and helping other people, you appreciate the good things and the things that you have in life so much more because it shows that we really do have enough. If you have shelter, food and clean water you got enough now it might not you know you might might be striving to be uh to get to get more and achieve more to make improvements to uh, have a better life to provide more for family and loved ones uh increase your health or, you know all these things that you can get better at and improve yes that's what a lot of this podcast is about i'm not forgetting about that at the same time when we focus on giving to other people It makes all the progress, all of our actions, all of our achievements, all of the good things even better in our lives because we can appreciate them more by giving what we can to others. Giving is one of those weird things that you get more by giving things away. In fact, without diving too much into this, in grad school we had to learn about this fun little study where they get got two groups of people and they gave each person in each group a $20 bill. One group, they said they had to spend the $20 on other people. The other group, they just gave them the 20 bucks and say, Hey, here's what, here's $20. You can do with what you want. But before they gave each person a $20 bill, they had to fill out, it was like a little happiness score. Asked them a couple questions where they rated different things and it was all about happiness. And they did that before and they did that afterwards before they gave them the 20 bucks and after they gave them the 20 bucks. What's funny is, is that the group that had to give the $20 away, like it wasn't even their money and they were giving it away. The group that gave the $20 away reported a greater change, a greater improvement, a greater increase in their happiness just by doing a small little act for somebody else. It's, 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 it's funny, but it's so effective. Just by giving and helping other people, even the smallest way, yeah, it feels good. 
You, you remember, hey, you know what? I, I do got enough. I'm still going to strive to do better in my life for my own reasons and, and, and supporting my values and providing for my family. But you know what? Life is good. I got to appreciate the good things. Even when there's a bunch of negative stuff going on around, appreciating the good things, that makes life fuller. It makes us enjoy life more. It makes us just, it makes everything better. So this season, you know, this season is a perfect reminder to focus on giving to others just to help them out a little bit, just to do something for somebody else. Now, yes, you can help yourself enjoy life more by giving to others while you're helping others by giving to them. Okay? Let's get that positive mindset shift that could help just about all of us right now by giving to other people, and and, and this season's uh, uh, the best time to do it, I think. I hope you have a, a wonderful holiday season. Uh, if, if you celebrate it, Merry Christmas. Uh, you know, just appreciate the good things that you do have, you know, whatever they are. Um, and thank you for listening to Enjoy Life. And I can't wait to share some more uh, some more episodes with you next week. We're gonna dive into you know a little bit of a learning from 2020, making the most, so we can dive into uh, 2021 and, and really hit the ground running. Uh, and, and just to help you a little bit. If you need some, if you need some help creating those goals for 2021 to really make the biggest impact and, and to really make the most of it that you can, then, then for a living at a time, I have this just, just free access, uh, full access to my creating life targets uh, program. It's a, a full online course that will guide you through creating targets for your life, so powerful goals that can guide you to go forward. Just go to nickmazy.com slash CLT, the number four, free. That's nickmazy.com slash CLT for free. And tell me about your goals and then go get uh, access to the full program. You'll have 15 days. Download all the audio. Download, or you watch the videos too, but you can download all the audio. You can uh, download the worksheets and, and just keep, keep the material. Uh, but just dive in and go after it. Because you know what? You can make 2021 a whole lot better. All right. Thanks for listening. Take care. And I'll talk to you again next week. If you want to achieve your goals, enjoy life, have fun, and have the energy to do it, then you have to care for your well-being. you got to care for your health. Health is so important. What we put into our body makes a difference. And if you're anything like me, then you don't want to spend a lot of extra money or time doing that. That's why I use Thrive Market. Uh, I've been using them for about a year now. They just ship to me, right to my house, all the vitamins, minerals, supplements, protein powder, healthy snacks, skin products, even toothpaste and vitamins for my little girls. Uh, you can go to nickmazy.com slash thrive and check it out. See if, uh, see if they can help you at all to be able to care for your well-being, care for your health so that you can enjoy life too. I was able to save enough money over Amazon that first order to pay for the membership. Plus, they're always giving away free products to try. I love it. Once again, that's nickmazy.com slash thrive. That's my affiliate link. Check it out. See if the products will help you to be able to care for your well-being so that you can enjoy life.